Hey guys and gals, this is your host Joe. Thank you for coming by Life with Yosef uh, Story Time. This is going to be the third uh, uh, series of vignettes that I make today, the nineteenth of January of uh, twenty twenty-four. So I hope you enjoy. I want you to notice on this clip right here. This is from a uh, year before last. On the Sammy Hagar trip, uh, I'm on I-15 uh, heading towards Vegas. Now you see how traffic all of a sudden slows up, and you see me veer to the left into the median. Now I'm going to tell you why that I do this. One is I'm probably going to stop faster than a lot of cars are, because you know, no, you know, um, uh, most modern cars have anti-lock brakes and stuff, but um, so. When I learned to ride, you know, a bike usually had a, a better brakes than cars in a lot of cases. Don't get all pedantic now. And so what you learn is when traffic stops like this, all of a sudden you veer kind of to the left right here if you can or on the shoulder if you're in the right lane because if somebody behind you isn't paying attention and i see this on the dash cam channels all the time they're going to rear end you well they rear end me in, on the bike and it's going to be a real problem so this is kind of something i want to point out a riding driving a tip and we'll move on to the next one now the now, this is an older picture of Chinatown in San Francisco. Well, it's 75, maybe 76. Um, a bunch of us uh, white suburban kids, uh, we get on the BART. We, we ride over to San Francisco. And it's not that far of a walk to Chinatown. Well, it's right around the 4th of July. It's the end of June. And, um, you know, everybody on God's Green Earth wa knows why four or five uh, suburban white kids are starting to walk through Chinatown is to buy fireworks. The illegal ones. Well, a maybe an older teen or a 20-something Chinese ancestor American comes out and you know, you know, we don't have to beat around the bush here. He just, you know, says, you know, you looking for fireworks? And we said yes and we did business right there. We we bought a big old bag of stuff and we brought it home and we lit it off. Now I think that's the same year that I almost set the house on fire because it was drought and I lit something in the backyard and wasn't paying attention and I'm sitting out on the front lawn in the shade of the tree and I look and there's smoke and I jump up and go, oh shit! And I run to the back and it wasn't, it was just minor, but... <laughs> I almost set, I set a little bit of the backyard on fire, and I almost set the house on fire. And let me assure you that my dad. Now, now I fessed up when I came home because I learned that you know, you fess up, you take your punishment. If you hide it, boy, my parents are going to be twice as angry. So, um, um, I got my fireworks uh, taken away until the Fourth of July, which was actually pretty gracious of my parents to not just take it away entirely. Now, my dad, not being a hypocrite, now he he worked down by the port of Oakland. Uh, he was either the first or the last liquor store, uh, uh, depending on where you were. It was the closest one to the Oakland Army base and the port down there and stuff. So, let's just say a lot of stuff fell off the truck. I, 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 I nudge, nudge, wink, wink, and he, he always brought home good stuff. Outside of the fact that my dad's Chinese ancestor, American, and he'd just go to Chinatown on the way home and buy stuff. You know, it, 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 it was awesome being a kid at that time. Now, sorry guys, nanny state. Y'all grew up in a nanny state. If you're not of my my vintage, so we'll press on to the next one. Now, this next shot is of Dallas Braden, the ex-A's pitcher, who's now on the A's broadcast team. He's one of the color guys. He's grown this atrocious beard. He looks just, dude, really. Anyway, um, he, uh, he got hurt. And he had a shoulder issue that was unrepairable, and that was that for him. So he started doing, when he was still on rehab and stuff, he started kind of... 
uh, doing some guest hosting on the on the TV broadcasts, and he was actually pretty good, you know, for being raw. And uh, uh, my brother Mark said at the time, you know, if this guy, you know, does it right, he could be really good at this. Well. Sadly, uh, Dallas went to ESPN, and it pretty much ruined him. And now he's back, and I think the you know y'all of my vintage probably can't stand the guy, but the people y'all younger than me, a generation or two or three uh, by now, I know a lot of the younger uh, uh, fans, <laughs> the few uh, fans the Ace have left, they can't they love the guy. I just can't stand him. God, he's got so much knowledge and so much that he could share, but he's too busy with the shtick. And oh, you know, I've got the beard, I got the hat, I'm, I'm, I'm. No, God, dude, you're you're shitting the bed here. Anyway, that's my Dallas Braden opinion. Oh, and my wife calls him the caveman. And refi- well, we still had satellite. He refi- she refused to want to have the sound on for him. So there you go. We'll get to the next one. The mem talks about the uh, saying, hold your horses, meaning to cool your jets. Well, when I was living with the ingrate the first time and married to his mother, um, he was having a little hissy about our mail down or wanted to leave and you know we weren't ready yet we're getting there and I told him I said dude hold your horses and he looked up and said but dad I don't have any horses this kid was an absolute joy people he he was magnetic people loved him I don't know what happened you know you know, we all know guys that had a lot of things going for them. And somehow they just made the decision that they were just not going to give a shit and they give up. You know, when high school, God love Al Bundy, when high school is the highlight of your life, you really need to be evaluating some things. So uh, I think this is about the last one of the of the Vinjet series. So... Uh, we'll, uh, we'll see if and when we do next. If not, this is, as always, your host, Joe. Thank you for watching my nonsense. Enjoy your day. Peace be with you. And we'll see you for the next one.